the Chicago Bulls have re-signed a fan favorite to a 10-day contract. Me and Steve-O, we are going to discuss it right after the intro when I can find this. Hey, has got like a million things over here. Jesus. Right after the intro. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bulls Central. Your number one place for all Chicago Bulls news and content. All right, welcome to another episode of Chicago Bulls Central, your number one spot for all things Chicago Bulls related. It's your boy, Big Bro. We got Steve O in the building. What's the word, Steve O? Hey, what's the word, man? It was a quiet day until this news dropped. <laughs> Yeah, we're holding it down for Hayes over here. Shot Town Sports, Chicago Bulls Central. The Chicago Bulls are re-signing fan favorite Javante Green to a 10-day contract. Now, if you remember, Javante Green was a part of the Chicago Bulls from 2020 to 2023, played 113 games. This past offseason, they chose not to re-sign him. He went to the Golden State Warriors but did not even crack the main roster. He's been in the G League all season so hey we're giving him a 10-day contract he'll probably earn another 10-day uh going toward the playoffs and then we'll see what happens from there steve-o how you feeling about this i'm kind of annoyed because it's like why you wait so long to do this like i mean of course we know that he had a little injury and that had a lot to do while we didn't decide to um to re-sign him back but at the same time, it's like, eh, it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm ecstatic that he's back. It's surely because the people that we have on here, especially last game, you could just see when when some of our good, great our guys that's a guaranteed bucket go down, bro. It, it's just nobody else to give life, and it's a bucket for sure. And the first thing I thought about was I hope he killed for all 10 days of this contract because I'm so sick and tired of seeing Javante Green on my goddamn television screen. So hopefully he's come in here, he's back, he's more healthy so he can completely take over that spot because we definitely need him and we definitely going to need him if we're going to make any type of push to the playoffs or the, uh, or the play-in game, to be honest. Now you, you you said Javante Green, but I think you meant uh, uh did I it? say it? Yeah, I think Javon you meant Carter. uh Javon Carter. There you go. But they both got Javon and they got damn names. That's what's going to be all. <laughs> now the Chicago Bulls are sitting at 34 and 36, basically about five games out of the six of uh, spot um in the Eastern Conference. So they still have an outside chance at making it out of the play-in tournament and into the guaranteed playoffs, but that's unlikely because Chicago Bulls appear to be Allergic to 500 over since since uh ball uh since Lonzo Ball went down, the Chicago Bulls have only sniffed 500 one time, and that was in the beginning of what 2021, something like that. Yeah. So you know that's what it is. Um, so yeah, with Javante yeah, yeah, Green's yeah. back, we know that he what he brings to the table. We know that he plays defense. We know that he's athletic. We know he can hit the corner three uh for the Chicago Bulls. And a plus side is he knows what Billy Donovan likes. Um, out there. So, but what does this mean for players like Daylon Terry or Julian Phillips? Um, I mean, of course, your your spot is threatened. I mean, I mean, to be honest, it's not really. It don't mean nothing as of now because, like we said, it is a ten day contract, so it's not even a guarantee that he's going to be on the team. But if he's healthy and he's back to looking like the Javon Javon take of old. Then yeah, those two people, your 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 line and what you got in, it, it, it's at risk. And we all know because he's literally fits exactly what we need: hustle, dirty points, rebounding, um, slashing. Like that's somebody you don't have to worry about slashing to the hole. He gonna do it regardless. So he's something, somebody we desperately needed, especially with this stagnant offense that we sometimes have. Like we only have one way to generate an open shot, and that's just somebody penetrating. And now that if we have that game plan, somebody penetrating, you also got to look for him to come through that back door because at, as as of the team that we're used to, he was the only person there next to Alice Caruso that was successful in those cuts and backdoor cuts. So it, it it's your threat. It's, it's a threat. Don't get me twisted. Like, And, and, and it's also kind of weird because, you're like, you know, 
Bob Bubblegum, Bubblegum Billy just plays anybody when he feels like fucking playing them. So, like, who knows what it means? Like, he could come here, we could sign Javante and not see him at all. Like, that's just type of coaches we work to. But if we're just talking about what it really is, everybody that we really don't have high hopes in coming on the bench, your job is at risk, especially your cousin, Javante Javon Carter. Fourth cousin, fourth cousin. All right, now, so we know that um, there's at least one player that's excited. I mean, I'm sure the whole squad is excited, but we know there's one player that's excited, and that's Alice Caruso. The the chemistry that Javante Green and um and, and Alice Caruso have had in their well in Javante's prior tenure with the Bulls was pretty solid. Um, as far as those back cuts are concerned, Caruso knows how to hit him in his spots. Um, I think Caruso is going to be excited to see this guy out on the court if Donovan does play it. Yeah, and he ain't going to be the only one diving on the floor, bumping elbows, skipping knees no more. He got somebody. And we might actually get a decent fast break from these two. Like, th- this dude is know how to run a three-man weave, something this team don't know how to do. So, like, I'm just thinking on that aspect, we should be faster. Our defense should be way more potent. And, um, yeah, the, the passes should be crisper. And, th- like I said, I feel like that's just one more added piece to break that stagnant offense that we sometimes have so i i i was kind of upset to not get him back so i'm glad to see him back in the bulls uniform because i didn't want him to go nobody nowhere else and do damage because we was never gonna get him back then that's facts let's hit some of these comments before we get up out of here it's date night tonight so we gotta, let's get it all right so we got a uh, flock of valley to dawn not let's go so glad we bringing woo back we got the woo back from bulls for life the this defense about to be crazy if he's back to form and can play that Patrick Williams role off the bench. Yeah, we mm-hmm. got <laughs> we hopefully uh Patrick Williams gets back healthy, man. But producer sure. hack is happy as hell. Tooley's happy as well. Uh producer hack, what's the word? We see you, Brody. Hopefully the Billy actually plays him as a guard and not as a power forward against dudes like Tatum and Giannis. You know this Billy Donovan excited to see uh his favorite power forward back. Oh uh, man, and then we got Sydney. What's happening, Sydney? We see you. Wait, what? I love Sydney. Javante. Come back home to mama. <laughs> how Hell do you crap. feel about it, Hayes? He wants to, she wants to know how Hayes feels about it. I'm sure Hayes will have something to say um about it on tomorrow. He got y'all tomorrow. Tay Hollins, I'm glad he's back to bring some toughness. That's right. And then also Sydney says she doesn't understand 10-day contracts. Why not sign him for the rest of the season? What is the position to? Um, so you know, 10 day is basically a prove it situation, make sure that he is in shape, ready to come in and play, and if he can actually contribute to the team. And you basically just giving him a chance to get some NBA money. That's really what it is. They're doing him a favor in this instance. Because even if he doesn't make the final roster going into the playoffs or into the play in, he'll at least get some NBA checks before the season is over with. Yeah, he was just one of those players like Pat. Like I felt like they wasn't clear on the injury. So like it was clearly it was more to the story than we knew. So they're just taking their time to make sure they know what they're doing. Tay Holland said he loves the signing, knows our system, and it'd be hard to get him back. It shouldn't be hard <laughs> to get him back in motion. Uh Sydney say the Bulls uh don't have an actual roster spot open. That's why they can't sign him out, right? Okay, we see. So somebody gonna have to get dropped. Uh Tay Holland says the Bulls sign up for the rest of the season. Who we let go? Man, it's that, gonna be uh, was it that dude we just got from Denver? You, yeah, you got from the G League. We can let him go. Yep. We can let Javon go if we want to. Like it's a quite a few people on that we I think we can we said no go can Boy. be set back down there. Like it's a quite a few people that can go back down. I had a feeling that Yale was gonna give Auburn pro- trouble today. I had a feeling, <laughs> and they got the lead with a minute and 40 seconds to go, 73 72. Hey. Hey, feeling. Terry Taylor is somebody that could lose it. Hey, Terry Taylor can tell me believe he could go, honestly. So if I had to pick either Terry, Terry, or Javon, probably. Yeah. Yeah, Javon Carter should be the one that's on the chopping block just based on how poorly he's played this season. As a whole, obviously, though, he makes enough money for them to keep him on the roster. Uh, Welcome back, says Isaac. Shea in the building, what's the word? What's the point of signing him? We're only going to have him for 10 days. They can keep signing him to 10 days until the end of the season, um, Shea. Uh, Then we got uh, certified underscore poppy. 
We got the GOAT back. Love Javante Green. Let's go, says J Day. Nas in the building. What's up, Nas? C Red, we back in the game. And then we also got King Khufu. What's up, fellas? This is really good news before I go to work. He can show them young boys how to work. I notice how you spell can too. You ain't slick, King Khufu. <laughs> And then we got Gage Balk in the building. How do we have room on the roster for five Javantes? I listen, I feel you on that with my guy. <laughs> I feel Make you. Georgie, Georgie, two times. My boy back gang. Yes, sir. Illa noise. Javante Green is back. Let's go. Should have signed him earlier. I'm not sure how that works with our other teams, G Leagues. Uh, he was on Golden State's G League affiliate, so I'm not necessarily sure. Wu is back. All 10. They want to look with the ooh, shy slammer, jammer. We, we in here. Tingin Uzi, word. Shay said he honestly will be used as a dead piece. He's not going to be playing anytime soon. We'll see, brother. We will see. We will like see. Him. More Javante and less Javon says Brazil popular. We see you, my guy. Shay says, but he's going to play. Is he going to play is the biggest question. Hey. From your mouth to coach's ears, my God. Nah, it's funny as hell. Talking about we got our starting power forward back. He ain't lying. <laughs> he was our star power forward for a nice minute. Yes, sir. Let's talk bulls says finally somebody with basketball IQ and effort. Yes, sir. Shay said, everybody getting excited, but for no reason. Remember, we cannot sign us a full contract the rest of the season because we don't have any roster spots unless we waive Terry Taylor. Ain't nothing wrong with waving somebody who don't Wave his ass. Right. It don't matter. Right. Yes, sir. All defensive. Io, Caruso, Green, TC, and Drummond. That'll be a nasty lineup out there. Yes, sir. Sydney, we see you. Oh, no, I wanted to know how you guys feel about it. I didn't know my favorite boys were live streaming. Thanks for breaking the news. Of course, you already know we're going to hold it down for Hayes when he can't make it. Sly Sam Slamma Jamma is back. I love this. Signing. I really hope I really hope this ain't no money shit. Like this, this will aggravate me if you just sign them just to look good or just to do that favor. Like, bro, you can use him. You can yep. most definitely use him. I don't give a damn if he 50% of what he is. Goddamn Javon ain't giving us 25% of the shit he's, we saw. Yes, sir. All right, man. So keep on commenting. Let us know what y'all think about the return of the woo. Return of Javante Green. It's five Javantes out there. We appreciate all the love and support, not only for over here, but all the Shot Town Sports family. Steve-O, you got anything else to say before I go out on a date with my no, wife? Sir. All right, uh, don't get to that date. We're gonna we appreciate y'all. We're gonna holler at y'all next time, and y'all gonna see Hayes later. Peace.